the nomads of Eurasia have played an extremely important role in world history from earliest times. And they continue to have, their history is an example of some, some things that are important in the world today. I'll get to that in a moment. One of the things that is important with nomad history is that uh, nomads were the people who inspired the building of Great Wall. They helped inspire the unification of China. They also uh, played a role in the rise and fall of a number of civilizations throughout time. Yeah, Attila the Hun played a role in the fall of the Roman Empire. And the, the trade and communication that existed uh, across the steppe lands uh, through nomadic empires played a role in the dissemination of culture and technology, inventions, ideas from China to Europe and from, from Southwest Asia also to Europe and to China. This was particularly uh, uh, striking during the time that the Mongols unified all of this area in the 13th century. And one of the ways that nomadic peoples and cultures can be brought into comparison with modern world and modern United States is that in the 13th century we had vast Mongol empire. The first superpower ever in the world was the Mongols. And in some ways the Mongols are very much like the modern Americans. Mongols did not have any prejudice against religion. They had freedom of religion. They had separation of church and state. This was the first time ever in history that this was done. Very much like a modern America. Also, there was not uh, uh, ethnic uh, persecution among the Mongols. Uh, however, this was uh, uh, the negative side was that there was a tremendous amount of economic exploitation and, and tremendous amount of savagery during the conquests that the Mongols visited on peoples. And I would, I would argue that's quite different than anything that the United States has engaged in. Uh, or at least on a completely different scale than anything that has uh, the United States has engaged in in this century. But at the same time, the Mongols and the, the United States have attacked some of the exact same areas. The Mongols were the first uh, non-Muslim people to take over Iraq, and the Americans were the second. And so it's interesting to compare and contrast those, in, those invasions that happened in 1258 A.D. and 2003 uh, with one another. So studying the extent of the Mongol Empire is interesting, it's instructive to, when we compare it with the modern world where the United States also is, is, it's, is a lone superpower in the world with some of the same uh, problems that existed during the 13th century when the Mongols were, uh, were uh, the, the big superpower. And students become immediately interested in this and then the students find parallels themselves during my lectures of the Mongol Empire and bring it up as questions in my class. So I think students already feel the parallels between just the scope of events happening among nomadic peoples who are so mobile, even though they're so long ago, with modern times where we have transatlantic, transoceanic travel and the world is a, a, a much smaller place than it had been in the past. When, when, with the mobility of the nomads, we had something similar to that already a lot earlier in history. And it's interesting to, to co combine, compare those. And I think I do uh, that in my class on the Mongols as well as my class on introduction to nomadic cultures.